So Alibaba has released a new AI model called QWQ32B. Yeah, that's quite a mouthful name for AI and honestly, it's very difficult to pronounce for me. But this is not their first AI model. They actually have released multiple AI models in the past and I think they, they call the model should be Quen. But this time around, they call it QWQ for some reason and this model in particular is a reasoning model very similar to DeepSeq R1 and also OpenAI O1 and uh, Cloud 3.7 Sonnet Thinking. They are under, under the same umbrella, which is a reasoning model. And also what's unique about this model is that it is using something called reinforced learning. Now, honestly, I have no idea about how this thing actually works, but basically this technology allows this model to be only trained with 32 billion parameter. Just to give you an idea, DeepSeq R1, which was uh, making a scene just about a month ago, it was trained in 671 billion parameter. So QWQ is way, way smaller, but according to the benchmark, it scores on par with DeepSeq and uh, a lot higher compared to other AI models, which is crazy. Remember, we are talking about 32 billion versus 671 billion so DeepSeq and, and QWQ are very similar according to this benchmark again this is just a benchmark but I think it's kind of giving you an idea on how smart this model really is and not only that because it is using so little parameter this it is actually very efficient and also because it is efficient it is very affordable so according to this data from artificial analysis.ai you can actually visit this website if you want to know some number about some ai models you can see that qwq here only costs 0.7 dollar per 1 million token so lower is better here but if you look at other ai models like the, the likes from cloud 3.7 sonnet o1 and then gpt 4.5 you will see that how insane QWQ really is. And remember, this is a reasoning model. The rest like uh, G Gemini, GPT-40, and Llama are not reasoning. For, so for a reasoning model and only cost 0.7 dollar per 1 million token is insane. You can check this website if you want to know more details about this model. But basically, the cost is just nothing to compare with. It's just on its own leg. And you can actually try using this model on its official website. You can visit chat.quen.ai. This is the official uh, chat website that was provided by Alibaba. So anyone can try this new model. So for this video, I will try to ask some question using QWQ32B and I will compare it with uh, reasoning DeepSeq R1. So it is also a reasoning model and I'm going to use perplexity for it because why not, I guess. So I have three questions that I prepared. So let's start using this. All right, it's going to be the strawberry test. By the way, if you want to select the uh, model, you can click on this button and then click QWQ32B. Now, uh, after you have done selecting the model, you can start prompting. Now I'm asking how many are in strawberry? This is actually quite a popular question to test AI model, but there is a plot twist here because I specify that it is going to be uppercase and there is only one uppercase R in this word. So I want to know if it can distinct the uh, the lowercase R's and the only uppercase R on this word. So let me just send this and I will do the same to DeepSeq R1 by the way. I just want to know which one is going to finish the job faster and most importantly which one is going to give me the correct answer. I'm expecting the answer to be specific, actually not specific, the answer is going to be, uh, there are going to be two different answers, like uh, if you count only the uppercase, there's only one R, if, there is, if you count uppercase and lowercase, then there are three R's. However, <laughs> according to this answer, apparently the answer is three, but even if some letters are capitalized like R's in strawberry, the count remains the same since the question is case insensitive. Wait, the question is case insensitive? The question was case sensitive. I was literally using R, big R, in the question. So, 
I don't know why it came to the conclusion that the question was case insensitive. Okay, I think the answer is not correct. If it is giving me two different answers, I'm still happy with that. But it is giving me only one answer and even that it's not exactly right. But that's okay for now. Let's see what DeepSeek Awan come up with. Okay, I think I made a mistake. It took forever because I enabled the web mode, which means that it is searching something on the internet. You have to disable this if you want to use the AI offline. And I wasn't, I didn't do that. So that's why it took forever to think about the question. Okay, th this is the answer from QWQ32B. The answer is three. Not exactly right, but yeah, I guess it is trying. And I guess I'm going to fast forward to just give you this answer. All right, we got the answer from Divsik R1. And I think it is giving me a lot better answer compared to QWQ. So the total R letters case insensitive was three, but if considering only uppercase R, the count is one. So it understands my question and the answer is correct. It is giving me two different, post, uh, different scenarios and of course, the answer is correct. However, QWQ wasn't able to understand my question. But anyway, let's move on to the next question. This is quite interesting and also tricky. So 5 equals 10, and then 6 equals 12, 7 equals 14, 8, 16, 9, 18, and then what is 10? How about 10? For human, it is kind of easy to provide the answer because 5 equals 10, therefore 10 equals 5. That's the answer that it should be giving. But let's see if it actually falls to my trap. And I will do the same to DeepSeek R1. And let's see if this model from China, well, both from China, can give me a unique or correct answer. Okay, wow. It is thinking a lot for just a, such a simple question. Oh, well, the the pattern is multiplied by two, but that, yeah, I mean, that's kind of correct, but it is, it's a trap. It's not supposed to be multiplied by two. So the answer is 20, but that's not the correct answer. The correct answer should be five. So QWQ again failed at this test. So how about DeepSeek R1? It is also failed. It is giving me 20. It should be just 5, but well, I guess uh, the score is still 1, 0, and QWQ is being 0. Now let's start asking a different question. This is going to be the last question. Create an SVG picture of a bicycle. In case you didn't know, SVG is a picture that is usually being represented by a code and it can be rendered and you can see the visual so i'm going to send this from to qwq and i'll do the same to dipstick r1 i think this one is going to take quite some time to finish because it has to code so i guess i'm going to fast forward and just show you the answer from both models all right so both models have answered about the same time and this is the code that qwq has provided and fortunately it has an artifact feature similar to cloud so we can render this code right here and according to the code a bicycle look like this it kind of look like a bicycle i mean you can see that there is a wheel there is a a handlebar and then there is a frame that kind of look like a bicycle i have no idea what are these two red dots maybe it's for the lamb or something i don't know but i guess it's it's kind of look like a bicycle and by the way ai's usually cannot create a picture properly using spg it is still a tricky task for ai but how about deep seek r1 now unfortunately there is no artifact feature in perplexity i think that would be awesome we can render the code directly in perplexity so i'm going to copy this code and i'm going to use a third-party website to render the svg code from perplexity from deepseek r1 okay how, how do i paste this hmm, that's very interesting 
Okay, let me refresh the page and let's do it again. Wow, that's Dipsic R1. I think it's way closer to a, an actual bicycle compared to the answer from QWQ32B. Now you can see that there is this two wheels, there is handlebar, there is also red light, uh, I think the the backlight, I forgot the name of this item, but it's usually at the back. So it looks like a proper bicycle, or maybe this is the front light. I don't know. It could be the front light because this could be the saddle. It could this could be the uh the I forgot the name, the, the front chain, and then this is going to be the seat post. So yeah, I think it's very close to an actual bicycle compared to QWQ32B. This is not even close. This is very, very far. So yeah, I think that's perhaps the sacrifice that you have to make for only using 32 billion parameters. So despite it is being a lot quicker, it's a lot more affordable. You can run it in, on a high-end computer compared to Dipsy R1 where you need a server-grade computer. I think it's still worth it. And if you want to have AI that can, that can run locally on your computer, then you can definitely use this model. So if you are interested, you can actually just go to the huggingface.com or you can just go to Google on QWQ and then you can download the model to your computer. And yeah, uh, that's basically it. I think it's, it's amazing that it's using something new like reinforced learning. But at the end of the day, I think people care a lot about the output compared to what number or the benchmark that it scored so yeah uh, if you find this video to be useful then please consider subscribing to this channel and in any case thank you so much for watching and i'll see you there